here I am back again. Same day, different video. Because now, like I told you at the end of the last video, if you watched the last one about this here roll I'm making, I said I had some mail I wanted to share with you. Well, oh my gosh. My friend Ray, she is just amazes me. She just amazes me sometimes. And she sent me this here box. And look right there. Well, actually right on top right here was a sheet of bubble wrap. And I popped all the bubbles. I had the big bubbles. And I popped them all. And so, that's what was in the top. So now, now give me a second here. Give me a second. I'm going to put this box. I'm going to put this box right here. It's really, really heavy. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. Just a minute. Okay. Excuse me. Can I have that space a little bit, though? Just a minute. The that's eating up my space. Okay. This. Just a minute. This is my hand. My other hand is getting these. Look at this. Oh, you know what? Here's another piece of bubble wrap. Boy, is that fun. Well, I won't do them all right now. Look at these coloring books. I'm telling you what's truth right here. I'm telling you. Look at this. And, you know, I got plenty of coloring books. But you, these are all different than what I already have. And I enjoy, enjoy, enjoy coloring. Look at these, how pretty. In each one of these, another thing I love is quotes. And um, this one is all about Christmas here. And love came down at Christmas. Love all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Stars and angels gave the sign. And see, there's like a little quote with each each one of these small pages I love them this is peace and joy to color with 20 tear out coloring oh these are cards I could actually color these and use them as a postcard mail them through the mail coloring books serene little village tiny fairies of the flower meadow Look how pretty. Look how pretty these are. These will be fun to color. I love the little, I love coloring the real small images. I've got oh, these uh, new gel pens. I used my gel pens on the real small piece, which the gel pens were sent to me by Ray too. Bless her heart for my birthday. I love these. These are so cute. The little fairies. Oh, there's the pictures that's on the front right there. Oh, that is so pretty. Thank you. Gosh. Home Sweet Home. A handcrafted coloring book. Look at that. A handcrafted. Oh, it's got... Oh, these are pretty. Now, these ones I'd probably use colored pencil in. Or maybe colored pencil and gel pen, like in the leaves. This would be a lot of gel pens. Look at that. Oh, I love these. These will be fun. Oh, these are perforated pages. Or perforated. I always say perforated, and it's perforated. Look at the fish in there. That's pretty, too. Oh, see there? She already colored that picture right there. These are going, oh, butterflies, bugs. Beautiful. Thank you, Ray, my gosh. And Coastal Wonders color art for everyone. Written by Cynthia Silvery. The Passionate Colorist. Oh, that's her right there. Oh, these are nice. 
And these are perforated too. One-sided. One-sided are really nice because you don't have to worry if you're using a marker if it's going to bleed through onto the other side. These are nice too. I think she just went through her own stash of coloring books and picked me out these ones and filled up the box. Look how cute. I love pictures with little kids admiring nature. I think that's amazing. Boho Wonders color art. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that something? The Volkswagen flower power bus. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, and it's boho. I just love anything boho. Any bohemian style, gypsy style, whatever. Oh, this will be fun to color. Look at the shoes. Oh, my gosh. And I have so many coloring books already, and each one of these is so different. Look at the owl. Different than the ones I already have. This is a one-eyed elephant. A bunch of one-eyed elephants. So pretty. Oh my god, they're pretty. Okay, and then look at Tattoo Darlings, an Inky Girls Inky Girls coloring book by Hannah Lynn. Oh, this will be fun too. I want to practice with the blending and like this hair like this. That will be um, perfect to practice the blending. And see, some of the, like this one's already, the drawing is already um, shadowed. And so you don't have to worry too much about shadowing because it's already in there. But the blending, like if I use, if I want to make her hair all blue, and make just different blues and blend them together. That's what I want to practice doing. Oh, that one's hair too. See that? And hair is one thing that you can, this one here is a lot of blank space. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. And that I'll probably use colored pencil. Or maybe my, oh, these are, these are going to be fun ones to color. Okay, that's that one. And then the Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls. Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls. Oh, again with the hair. Again, one-sided. <gasps> Look how cute. Look how cute. They're the cutest little faces, you know. There's the totem pole. See, that'll be fun to color in all different colors. There she is. There, That's me right there, you know, with my little hula skirt. Mini hula skirt, in fact. Oh, look at there. See, she is holding on to the little dog. No, porpoise, whatever, dolphin. These are so nice. One flower colored, yay. Oh, well, look, I can color all these little bitty tiny ones. I would try to color some of them. They'd be a little hard, but with the um, fine line gel pens, not a problem. And a Creative Haven Mermaids coloring book. And again, more me mermaids. Look at there. See how that coloring goes from the darker blues and then shaded way up to the lighter blues. And that's what I want to learn to do. So I don't know if it's, if I'll use alcohol markers on this. Are these one? Oh, good. They're one-sided too. So, but see, that's one thing I want to learn is to get that coloring um, grad gradiated and see how her hair, it's different colors of brown in that hair, but it's like blended together to make it that beautiful. And like fair, shadowed, shaded so perfectly. I love it. This will be so much fun. A lot of water that I can, I can practice my shading in. These are so pretty. 
Thank you, Ray. I'm going to love these. These are beautiful. And then also in the box is these things. Now, okay, let's see what these things are. This is, oh, how, oh, how cute. These are little plastic shakers there's a bunny a flower they've all they're like a little shaker and they got little things in them oh this is this is a little heart with little sequins on it and it's puffy and this is another one and this is another one These are the, yeah, you can turn them to make them all silver. These are so cute. These are beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Ray. Thank you. And then in here are little, little, are they unicorns? Yes, they are. Baby unicorns. A whole family. They don't like being in this bag because they can't breathe very well in that bag so they want to be out of the bag they're going on my shelf right up there because i put everything beautiful up on that shelf and then what is in here oh ouch geez look at the bag look at that little bag how pretty that's what the unicorns need to be in so they can breathe through that bag and then here is Two, oh, I can sew these. These unicorn, one of these unicorns is going to go on my um. Is going to go on my snippet roll, on my wall hanging. One of these is going to go on. I can stitch that on. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you guys have to move back here and just give me a little space. Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to drop you on your nose. Okay, now, in here are, oh, I bet she made these. Did she make these? Oh, these are fun. Look at the, these are cute little embellishment things. They got all little fairies on them. Little fairies. These are gorgeous. And then there must be 50 of them in there. That's beautiful. All of them. Because, see, I'm just now getting back into my little... Well, I'm making that avalanche journal. But I want to start on another avalanche journal. Because I'm making this one to open like a book. But the other... The next one is going to open like a tablet. But it's still going to be an avalanche journal. And I think that'll be pretty... Thank you for picking up all my trash, Papa. You're welcome. You shouldn't have to do that, but I'm glad you are because I'm too lazy. These are like stamps, like copies of stamps. These are pretty to use in collages or just... When I make my journals, they're just junk journals, which are not junk, though, see? But they just... I, for lack of, well, my avalanche journal. It just can be anything. What is this? I think this is sol solid gold right out of a pirate's chest. A pirate's chest. Ow. It looks like a drawer knob. What does it say on there? It says something. Well, I can't tell what it says on there, but that's pretty. Look, it's solid gold. Come right from a pirate's treasure chest. See, it's pretty heavy too, so that's like a lot of gold. And um, that's gorgeous. And here are, I think these are like vellum. Vellum little stickers, maybe? 
Could they be stickers? Or could they be... They sure are pretty, whatever they are. I don't think they're sticker, unless I could pull that back off. But, no. Um, those are really neat, though. They're like, you can, they're like vellum, but they feel like plastic. Oh, maybe it's, oh, God. Maybe this is the front, the shiny side. Well, I think either side could be the front. That's what I'm thinking. And there's a whole bunch of them in there. And then this one, these are all like little mushrooms and flowers. Beautiful. And then, and then, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm going to put these inside of here. I'm going to put these inside of here. Because that's perfect. This would be perfect in here like that and then the unicorns can still breathe and it's fabric there we go i've got to make sure they can breathe and let me put this in here too and then look at these buttons look at these buttons these are so cute and this is this buttons and beads Oh, and lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, lollipop. That's cute. It's like a, it's not a button. It's a lollipop. They're like flat backs, something or others. And these, it's just a whole bunch. A charm. Oh, these are like luscious. Where'd you go? I think it's like a little donut. Oh my word, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is pretty. These are gorgeous. Angelie. Oh, how cute. These are adorable. I don't want to get them all lost. If I dump them off, they're going to roll all over the floor, and then I won't ever find them, because if you see my floor, you guys would call the authorities. Thank you so much, my friend. Ray, you are amazing. Ray, and then I still got these pop. Okay, now, wait a minute, there's another box. Wait, there's another box. Where did I put it? I lost it. I lost the other box. What is this other box? It was a box from Arlene, too. How can I... How can somebody be as... I must be a loser queen. Where did I put that? There's another box in here. It was from Arlene. It's all colorful. Oh, here it is. I put the coloring books on top of it. Now, put my coloring books right there. Now, this. Look at the box. She colored this whole page. She probably did that in a coloring book. Colored the whole page and then added it right to this box. So, I'm going to have to see if I can get it off of the box. And let's see. Help her cut this tape. Okay. And there's stuff in the box. Now, this. I have not pulled this one out at all yet. So I'm going to pull it out. And look at there is. Ooh. <gasps> uh. And a unicorn ring. That's beautiful. I needed this ring. Okay. Oh yeah, pop them. It's okay. And and then we have two embroidery hoops. Two hoops that can make, let me see what else is in here. Oh, here's this fancy paper. I'm going to get the trash out of the road. You're going to get trash the road? Okay, Papa. This is this fancy paper. And this fancy paper is amazing when you take it and pull it. I took a piece and armed it. 
And when I ironed it, it flattened it all out, and it was amazing. And then I um, collaged it or used the, the um, whatever that stuff is in that red and yellow bottle. Jeez, ah, forget it. I didn't do anything with it. But, and it really made a cool, cool background for a, yes. And a postcard. She colored that. Now, this is amazing right here because I just started making a, um, oh, I've got two of them going right now, is two, they're like a dream catcher, I guess, but I've got a 12-inch embroidery hoop and then one that's a little smaller, but what I'm using is all the things hanging from it is the pieces I got out of an old rag rug and um after I washed that rug a few times it started coming apart and um it started coming apart and um and so I just finished taking it apart and oh my gosh the fabrics that came out of that rug are amazing and they're all like sorry silks and not actually all silk but what what they make sorry fabric out of uh, sorry, sorry's out of, and um, this, these will make a little tiny one, and my granddaughter, Aria, just told me that she needs a dream catcher in her room, because she said, I have bad dreams, and I need a dream catcher to catch my bad dreams, and so this most likely where do I have, I'm looking up on my shelf because I have some little bitty doilies. Well, now I'm not seeing them, but what I like to do is get, a, I have done dream catchers where I've just made this string and I just put it through and, and, and put the, the web in the middle with the string, but I like using a little um, dream catcher, no, a little doily and and sew the doily in into in fact I might do a video on on one oh there's my dream cat oh I can't reach it right now though but thank you so much this is beautiful and I just on my last video Arlene see this here piece that I put on this on this wall hanging that was off your dress and so, yes, so you saw my mail, oh my gosh, and, and I'm going to have to get my little X-Acto knife, and I want to cut this off, this picture off, because I know she colored it all, and I want to get that off of there. That's pretty, or, or I could just cut the box apart, and use this oh, I will this will be the front of my waterfall journal that is going to go this way it's going to the, the I was just saying I was going to make a waterfall journal that I was going to make it that opened like a tablet a paper tablet and this would be perfect for the front cover and then the back cover will be like maybe three times that length that's what I'm going to do that will be perfect and this will go in, this will go in my journal, in my avalanche journal. I'm really loving making these avalanche journals because they're, oh, everything, there's nothing hidden, you know, there's nothing hidden in it. It's just like, even when it's closed, you see so much. And so this is going to be beautiful in there. And I have to put Arlene's name on this because I have a, bad habit of forgetting and so what do I, oh okay I forgot her last name I had to get that and put that on there so I know who drew that who colored that picture and that's perfect thank you so much ladies these things are beautiful and and these buttons are going to be awesome on my 
on on this wall hanging because like I was saying when I did this earlier which I think I just did upload it that even if the kids want to play with it while it's hanging or you know touch it and stuff while it's hanging on the wall it's fine and I want the kids to do that I want the children to see this and uh, see because I want my children to and my grandchildren especially my grandchildren they're little I want them to to understand that art does not have to be like professional looking art can be fun and imperfect I mean it's perfect just this way but like these kind of buttons these kind of buttons like this is a little ice cream cone I might just fill this one whole side up and there's a snail so fun hello kitties are in here these are gorgeous buttons look at them they're just just a million they're really oh that's beautiful there's another little hello kitty that's another snail then there's just see i could fill this whole part up because this is the part that the kids would be able to see and um and it would be fun too with these buttons like this we could play i spy and like if i have this little hello kitty in here i could say i spy a purple hello kitty and then the whoever is looking whoever i'm playing with would have to find it where i spy it and then i could say i spy a little red heart if they pick this one i say nope it's little then they'd find this one and so this is going to be fun these are fun fun buttons oh my word okay i'm gonna have fun with this i'm gonna work on this some more and then i'll probably start another one because all of this this is just great i gotta get a pan and dump all these in a pan so i can look at everything there's some charms in there oh there there's a um a bead that's got the grinch on it i could say i spy the grinch the Grinch the Grinch the Grinch and now there's a little bitty key I spy a key so this might be an I spy okay well anyway that's how my thoughts are going with that I love this stuff I love this stuff these are beautiful buttons thank you so much my coloring books thank you so much and I want to really get where did I put those yes this is going to make a perfect little, these are going to be so pretty for little dream catchers. Little dream catchers. That's what I'm, which these make good too for frames. But um, I love this tiny one. And so, but yes, we're going to, one thing I know I'm going to make is a dream catcher for my one Aria. And so, and I got some feathers, which I'll probably put um, fabrics to hang. Because I hang, when I hang, I hang from the sides and then all the way across the bottom. So there's feathers hanging and like the big ones I'm making are all fabrics. There's no feathers, but I'm, I'm adding beads. I'm not finished and got the doily and stuff. But um, I need to take more pictures of what I make and add them to my group. So I may, I'm constantly doing things, constant. I don't stop. I'm always working on something. And so I should take more pictures and post them in the group. And sometimes I get the feeling like, oh, I don't want to act like I'm bragging and I feel like I shouldn't. But I'm going to say, now that I'm 72, it's like, what the heck? And so these are so cute. These buttons are adorable. Look at that. See, and the kitties are looking down. 
Maybe I can put that one right on. That's a little bow. I can put it right on that kitty. Okay, well, I need to get going with that stuff. So I'm going to read again, even though I read just a few minutes ago in my last. Let's see if I can open this book to right here. You are stronger than you know. Words of hope and encouragement for someone living with a chronic illness. Let's go to one that doesn't have a bookmark in it. Okay, let's focus on the present. We cannot change the past. We just need to keep the good memories and, and acquire wisdom from the mistakes we've made. We cannot pre predict the future. We just need to hope and pray for the best and what is right and believe that's how it will be. We can live a day at a time, enjoying the present and always seeking to become a more loving and better person. And yes, that's true. Always seeking to become a more loving and better person, more accepting. You know, that's the thing. Let's just accept things that might not be perfect because nothing's perfect. And this was written by Karen Berry. Well, what those at, what at, those words I added later was me. But anyway, that's good. You are stronger than you know. God bless you all. Thank you so much for coming again, watching again, and helping me live life to the fullest. And by making my videos, and oh gosh, can this go right here? Yes, it can. Okay, I'm going to stitch some more. Okay, God bless you all. May he watch over every step you take, every move you make, keep you healthy, keep you happy, keep you honest, keep you well fed, and keep you loving life. I pray these things for you. Amen. And thank you for coming. And I just keep talking till I can find my mouse. Oh, there it is. Here it is. It always hides from me. God bless.